Flowers for Sick People is a project I've been working on for a number of years, but it's really ramped up during the pandemic. And it has a few different pieces to it. But the, the main one is that I have been sending uh, small original paintings to people in the mail on behalf of their loved ones, people who are sick. Uh, in the midst of this, of the pandemic and also the isolation that's come from the pandemic, I've just started to try to figure out where can art live in that realm of all these people who are having very specific, individual, but also somehow shared experiences of being separate and wanting to be there and not being able to be there. So uh, another element is some of the paintings that I've been doing that are like the ones that are in this show. And these are more of a tribute to a wider population of people for sort of an imagined uh, audience of a particular segment and thinking about some of the shared experiences that we've all been through over the past couple of years. Here at the Palo Alto Art Center, I've been um, thinking about where are we now? We've all been affected deeply by this experience. And so right now, is a, it's a different time in the pandemic but it's also uh, feels like something that we've been living with for a long time now. In picking the paintings and the accompanying texts that go with the paintings for this show, I was really just thinking about what the picture of this pandemic feels like now. The other thing is that um, using a corner, I always really like corners of spaces to show work in. There's something about uh, getting drawn into a physical space that's in front of the work instead of just the work itself on the wall. I've been painting flowers for many, many years now, and I've started to think a lot more about what flowers are and how people have used them over time. So this series is really an extension of looking at that. Although these are paintings on canvases, I typically don't paint on canvases, but there's something about a canvas, even at this small size, that sort of says this is a painting. It's a further exploration of my interest in the language of flowers and when people use them and why they use them and what that language is and how it operates and how, what it might tell me or us about how we are as humans, and how we communicate, what we do when we don't know what to say. Uh, that's a particularly strong interest of mine is like the biggest situations that we face in terms of uh, loss or grief or uh, fear, we often really don't know what to say. And flowers have for a long time been a stand-in for when we don't know what to say, when the words just aren't there, or we don't know how to get the words just right so that they land with exactly where that person is. It, there's this really interesting barrier that's, that's between someone who's in pain and their loved ones. And flowers have become this intermediary. But at the same time, the same exact flowers could stand for, I'm sorry, I miss you, thank you, congratulations. So the flowers themselves rarely are the expression, they more mean meaningfulness. And then it's the situation and the context and the relationship that sort of brings shape to what the meaning of those flowers are. So in this case, this is just a further chance for me to try to think of how art as its own abstract language uh, operates when it also is adopting this other abstract language of flowers and the way that we use them. We all need to do whatever, whatever we can, whatever tools we have, if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, if you're a lawyer, if you're an activist, if you're an artist. And what we make in here, what we show in here is not going to solve the crisis of this pandemic and everything that's come from the last couple of years. But I think it's a, a way for people to see another way in which people are grappling with it a way that has this sort of visual manifestations. And I think that's what this show is ultimately about, is uh, all these different artists who have been grappling with a lot of the same conditions, but trying to figure out where do I fit in? Where does what I make? Or where does how I show something or how I think about something fit into the scheme of everyone's lives?